serve. Are markets becoming too hawkish in anticipation of uh, uh, the, the Fed's move uh, later through the quarter? Well, I think markets are by now realistic. I don't think they are too hawkish yet, but the way markets move, there is a significant risk that markets may become too hawkish. After all, they overshoot both directions. We are among those who expect four rate hikes of 25 basis points this year, with a risk that it might be five, but against the backdrop of a very strong nominal and real demand in the US. Even these rate hikes would merely sort of dampen a bit the very strong momentum in the U.S. economy, but they would not derail the U.S. economic upswing and hence the outlook for earnings in a significant way, in our view. The, um, the earnings have been a little disappointing as well, to be honest. Um, the banks were expected to hit the ball out of the park, and in fact, we got quite a lot of disappointment and misses, either on profit or revenue from the uh, the main US banks and then of course the uh, the sentiment was weakened by the news that we had from companies like Peloton and Netflix and those that aren't making a, a huge amount of profit at the moment in the dot-com space have we turned a corner do you think on the post COVID lockdown recovery in earnings well, of course, the strong post-COVID recovery, the bounce back to normal, is over, especially in the U.S., where economic activity in the third quarter already surpassed, actually in the second quarter already started to surpass the pre-COVID level of activity. So that's over. But our outlook is that there is strong demand in the pipeline. Consumers have money to spend, companies want to invest more. The impact of the fiscal packages that have already been passed in the US, most of that is still to come in terms of actual government spending. So we look for years of above trend growth in nominal and real GDP, and that kind of defines the space for the growth in corporate profits and earnings. And our outlook for that is good. Of course, it may not always be the same sectors that have this COVID uh, drop and then the post-COVID recovery. But on balance, the outlook in our view for what defines the space for corporate earnings is good. And hence, we view this as a correction in markets, but not as a change in trend towards a bear market.